At the end of June 2024, I took part in my first car race. But how much did it actually cost me to go from nothing to racing an enduro car at Donington Park? This video includes all the costs such as the drive, test day, travel, fuel and food etc. Like every person that's raced, my journey started by getting a race license. I sat mine in October 2023 at Brands Hatch, having received my Go Racing Pack a few months earlier. The Go Racing Pack costs about £110 and includes the application form and an electronic copy of the Blue Book, which has all the rules and regs in. Additionally, as I got mine through MSV, there are a few leaflets about MSV series etc and a novice sticker too. I also had to pay £2.99 postage to receive that. As I'm based in Essex near Stansted Airport, I had to pay £5 to dart charge for the privilege to use the ever-entertaining Dartford Britain Tunnel. It's more of a tourist attraction nowadays than a toll road given the amount of time people spend on it. Additionally, that visit to Brands Hatch cost about £10 in fuel. Having got my race licence at the end of 2023, it would only last till the end of that year. So come 2024, if I wanted to race, I'd need to renew the licence, which cost another £110 plus £2.30 postage. Total cost of getting a race licence therefore is £510.29p. Race wear and safety gear. I'm not going to talk you through every single item I purchased and why, as you'll just fall asleep. All the items and their costs are obviously on screen, so you can have a take a look at them. I got everything with the exception of the comms cable from Demon Tweaks. The comms cable, which I was advised by the team I needed to connect my chosen helmet with the in-car radio system, came from a company called Race Car Radios. You can probably get everything a little bit cheaper uh, by cutting out a few of the items that aren't necessarily required, like the fire resistant socks, etc. But I think it's better to have them just in case the worst happens. I also was very limited on time when I ordered all these bits due to delivery times, etc. So I went with the items that were in stock ready for dispatch. For the cost of £1,953.94p, including VAT and shipping, you too can look like this plum on the left. The team I went with for my debut offered me a track day on the Wednesday before the race, which was on the Sunday. This too was at Donington Park on the National Circuit. At the time of the sign up, I was told I'd get between an hour and an hour and a half in the car over the course of the track day. I'd have to be at the circuit, however, about 7 a.m. for sign on, etc. And after helping pack everything away at the end of the day, we left around 6pm. I had a two hour drive each way, so it was a long old day um, and it's much cheaper to do it in one day rather than booking a hotel for a night or two. Team charged £350 for the drive for that day. Fuel to get there and back cost about £50 with uh, food, drinks and snacks etc costing about £20 as well. So total cost for that track day was £420. I worked out that I got around 70 minutes on track, which is obviously nearer the lower end of uh, what the team said I would get. This meant that each minute on track effectively cost me £6. Obviously I didn't need to do the track day, but I thought it would really help, and it did, um, in of not only learning the car, but the track, um, but also getting to know the team and the teammates that would be in the car, and also the sister car as well. Race day. The more interesting bit, I guess. All my race related stuff was on the Sunday, but as I got a weekend ticket from the team as part of my entry fee, I went uh, up to Donington on the Saturday with three mates of mine um, to watch some of the track action. This allowed me to do the driver weigh in um, on the Saturday afternoon rather than rushing about on the already busy Sunday. Team said to me the cost of the drive was £1,254, of which, due to me signing up a few months in advance, I'd need to pay £200 as a deposit uh, and the remainder was due a month before which was £1,054. For this amount I was told I'd get around two hours on track over the course of the day. As per motorsport and probably just my luck, race day didn't quite go to plan. Just about everything minor that could go wrong did. In fact the car didn't even finish the race. Qualifying I went out first as the rookie in my car of three drivers. This was just to warm the car up and get the new tyres uh, to come in. I should have had around 15 minutes during this session, but I actually only got about 10 minutes um, as the car received a mechanical warning flag on like lap 3 or 4 when I was going round, so I had to pit early. Unfortunately, this was due to when refueling the car before the qualifying session, the team didn't put the fuel filler cap back in properly, so every time I went round a right-hand corner, 
fuel started dribbling out the left hand side of the car. At least it was an easy fix I suppose and uh, obviously uh, I didn't uh, end up going and playing in the gravel so that's always a positive. Come the race we had a few issues before uh, I got in the car like the radio wasn't working for the first drive, uh, first pit stop didn't count towards the three required stops due to a, a misunderstanding of the regulations. Um, another one of the drivers had a minor collision uh, and a spin down the cranial curves which is a bit scary for them um, and then we got stuck in the pit lane exit during a safety car period etc etc nothing really went to plan when I jumped in I didn't have any radio communication in either direction with the team which they uh, somehow only realized about 70 minutes into my stint by showing me a board that said they don't have any communication with me I should have had around an hour and 45 minutes on track, however after having a drive through and two stops in the pits, my stint was over, having only had around uh, an hour and 28 minutes by my calculation. Oh well, I suppose that's, that's motorsport, sometimes it's just disappointing. There are obviously positives to take away from the day, um, we were on podium pace for sure, it just wasn't our day. Fuel costs, um, obviously driving up on the Saturday, going home on a Monday, so two nights um, in an Airbnb. So we split that with the four of us and that's £73 each. Uh, fuel cost about £50 again, obviously there and back. Um, and food and drink for the two days was about another £50. So the total cost for me for the race day was £1,427. So what does that mean for the total costs? Well, we can split them into two sections. The initial costs, which we needed to incur in order to be allowed on the track, which will be spread among, among years to come and races to come as well. And then there's the one-off event costs. So initial costs are our race license being £510.29p and race wear of £1,953.94, bringing the total initial cost in order to go racing of £2,464.23. Event costs, that's the track day test being £420 and the race itself being £1,427, bringing the total event cost to £1,847. This means, and this is the moment you've all been waiting for, the total costs to go from nothing to competing in my first car race was £4,311.23p.